Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Rum review? Hey. We had a new one last week. We had a really busy week last week. It's been busy. Christmas, holidays, work is picking up even with closures. Oh. Yeah, we're back to being closed down, so. Yeah. John and I have been really wonky this year. Might have to drive I've to Indiana to go out to eat. Pretty. They're open up. Yeah. It's only about an hour drive. Hey, I get out at two tomorrow. Possible. Bye. All right. Go. What are you smelling on this one? This is lovely. Lovely. So I get like orange creamsicle, mm. pineapple. You remember those orange Flintstone pops and ice cream trucks when we were kids? Ooh. Those are my favorite. Is that what it smells like or is it different? Uh, no, it's like the popsicle. Not mm. like that. There's something in my Disappointing. Eyeball. I know, right? There's like a tinge in there and I was kind of thrown off by it at first. But it's almost like mango. Like I thought it was like slightly piney, and then I was like, nope, that's mango. Mm, that sounds tropical, delicious to me. Tropical fruit. I love a good mango. And papaya. Papaya. I've never very, had papaya. Very, very muted in there, but it's there. Mm. A little bit funky. Not very much, but a little tiny bit. Can we talk about though, like this vanilla? Man. I didn't want to say, like, I haven't ever gotten vanilla this strong in a rum before. Hmm. It's like... That's got some weird fruitiness I know. It. It's like if you took tropical, like, tropical fresh fruits and mixed them with, like, tapioca vanilla yeah. pudding. That's what I get. It's weird, but it's weird in all the great, great ways. I absolutely love this. This is stellar. I'm going to give it a five. Wow. I don't know if you've ever been a perfect score on anything yet. Not on a rum. Here's your calculator. Thanks. Sorry. All right. Whew. Okay. So, I got a cut on my tongue. Oh. Uh, really got to stop getting cuts on my tongue. This completely flips over. The nose flips into the taste, like spot on. It's very pineapple and vanilla forward. It kind of like burns my tongue like it does when if you eat too much raw pineapple. I love fresh pineapple. Citric acid. Yeah. And it, after a while, it just kind of makes my tongue raw and almost hurts to eat it. And that's kind of like the first initial thing that I get in my mouth. Mm -hmm. But then it just rolls into this creamy, luxurious, velvety, vanilla, tropical fruit bomb. Um, it's really heavy pineapple. That pineapple is there and that pudding creaminess is there. It's literally, this is the first time I've ever had a rum where the smells completely and honestly transfer over into the taste. I, I'm going to give it a nine and a half. Mm. If I think this one's got a little bit of proof on it because it is a little, a little burny. I'm getting a little hug from it. But as far as everything like smoothness and everything else goes, other than that first initial like pow in my mouth, I have no problems with this. This is phenomenal. Finish, again, really odd, but it stays. I've never had a finish that, like, sticks around. And this is like warm upside, pineapple upside down cake, kind of, that just kind of hangs around. Like, there's a creamy cakiness, like, pineapple still sticking there. Um, there's a really slight burnt toastiness to it, too. That kind of comes through on the finish, but it's really nice and it all marries together really well and hangs around. So mm, I'm going to give the, I mean, 
same thing I say with most. This sticks around a lot longer than most rums. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Jeez. If it stayed this much longer, I would be spot on with it. Because it's already kind of fading out of my mouth. And this tastes so good, I just want it to be there. <laughs> I want it to hang out. Um, look, bead line. There's a nice bead line with it. There's really nice legs and they're pretty consistent. Um, it looks a little bit watery, but definitely doesn't drink watery at all. Uh, it's very, very yellow. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like, like straw. It's almost okay. like, like if you didn't brew green tea, like a green tea bag all the way, like you just kind of dipped in and left it there for just a second and then pulled it out where it just enough to tinge the water. But why would you do that? You want all the flavor. I know. So, I mean, I'd, I'd say like a soft golden color, like okay. the difference between like white gold and gold, like in the middle there somewhere. Um, I mean, it's nice and it does look kind of oily, but I mean, I'm, I'm going to give it, I'll give it one and a half because I, I want it to be a little bit the darker. The weakest spot of this rum is in the color. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to dive right into it. This is Rolling Fork. This is their Jamaican 2014 100 proof, which really surprises me. Uh, you know a lot about this because you talked to Turner. I do. But rate the bottle before we go into it. So it's very just generic and plain, which I know is because Turner and his partner wanted it to be um, very suitable for a bar. They wanted it very hand handleable <laughs> so that they can pull it off the rack and everything. Um, so the bottle's pretty generic, but I love the, the bottle label. Is, yeah, the label is I nice. love, love, love everything to do with the label. The label and everything that they are running with. Very I'm, tropical and, yes. and kind of warmy. Like, like makes you feel good when you yeah. grab this. So I'm going to give it a two. I mean, yeah. I wish the bottle was a little bit more unique, but I understand why it's not. So it's not gonna, I don't know what your score is then. Mm -hmm. I just messed up. So this gives me a little bit of idea of what you like. So you did like the rolling fork, this one, a little bit better, but this one's not cheap. This one is more obtainable. Um, we got this at Party Source. Uh, I know you can find it in Chicago. You can find it in a couple other states and Kentucky all around. Do you know how much we paid for this? I paid for that. Yeah, you did. Do you know how <laughs> I much think you it was $40. For? That's, that's a little high, but no, it's good. No, maybe it was 36 Okay. I don't remember. Do you remember that Papa's Pilar lawn rum that I had? Yes. This reminds me of that. Yes. I think I'm going to start blinding you on some younger... I like the aged rums more. It seems like you like the more I like this. good distilled, slightly aged. I like them well made. I have some rums in mind that I want to blind you on that are around this category. So this is the Jamaican. Why don't you so, okay. go in? So you <laughs> gave it a 90. I gave it a 90 and I am 110% okay with that. Um, again, I wish the look was great, but in the same aspect, I don't remember what you gave the dark, the I don't remember what El you gave Salvador. I think it was like a 92 or yeah. 97 or some, I think maybe 92. It was but the, I think it's the color, the look yeah. makes that one better for Probably. you. I think the taste are the same. I think you rated those pretty similar. So going to double in. So hold on to your bootstraps guys. Cause I'm a big fan of rolling fork. Um, Way back when John and I started getting into bourbon and really started going through with it, I contacted Turner um, to see his connection to Wathen, to the Wathens, um, like the Wathens bourbon. So I talked to him a little bit about that. He gave me a little bit of lineage on his family and stuff. He was super nice, super friendly. And he told me, you know, if you ever get into bourbon or into rum, like I'm oh, running a rum now and... I'd be happy to, you know, talk rum with you. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Well, we kind of did our own thing. And then it was almost almost a year later. Yeah. Six oh, no. months, eight months. Yeah. 
Um, we actually went down to Kentucky, as you guys know, and we, I was, John and I, had, we were leaving the store and I had to pee. So I went back to pee and I was walking out and I happened to walk through the rum aisle and saw this on the shelf. And I had known from researching Turner that this was his and John and I were like, well, if we ever see it, you know, we'll grab a bottle. And I was like, we're going to grab a bottle. So I just quick grab it and ran through the thing and <laughs> never forget the look on your face because I he was like- I just spent like 600 bucks there. We really did. John was like loading the boxes into the truck and he looks at me and he goes, and I was like, I had to. And I showed him, he was like, oh, okay, fine. Just put it in with the rest of them, whatever. Fast forward, we cracked it open. John blinded me on it. I didn't even know what it was or anything. We hadn't opened it yet. And um, John blinded me on it and I absolutely fell in love with it. And then our good friend Michael sent us the barrel proof. No, it's not barrel proof. It's or the El the, Salvador. Their was, 11 well, year. Yeah, so there's, it's their 11 year. Um, so that one's a little bit longer aged, obviously, and it has a little higher proof More on of a it. bourbon drinker's rum. Yeah. More of a cocktail. Um, so, it is good neat, but this is made for cocktails. Why don't you go into some of the details? So yeah, so we got that and here we are. But um, Turner and his partner went in, and his partner's name is Jordan. Jordan. Um, so Turner and Jordan created, they have three different variations. They have the 100 proof, which is Jamaican. They specifically distilled this to cater to cocktails, to bars, to mass production of stuff that bars can have. It's easy to use, it's easy to pour, and it go mixes well with you know anything rum based you know i'm surprised they don't say anything about drinking it neat this is really good neat it's very easy to drink and, and it can probably proof. get you in trouble because it's 100 proof and then um the el salvadorian rum is so much more complex because they age it in so many different barrels and they for, yeah and they blend it all together and it's just its own beast and then they have uh, the Fortunus, Fortunus Union, Union, which the initials are FU because they accidentally dumped a rye whiskey into the rum. So they took their eleven year. I don't. I don't think was it was it this, that. It was, was a different this? one. No, it they were. These. So they were. This was their initial rum, and they had left some of the rye in the blending, and they didn't know that. So this was a twelve year rye that they left. And they didn't know as Turner and Jordan are dumping their rum into it. And they go, oh my gosh, now this is all ruined. And then they tried it and they were like, no, it's not ruined. So, fun so. fact, um, Jim Beam, I don't think they claim it, but their dark Caribbean rye one, they kind of claim that that's the first rye and rum blend. No, Rolling Fork did it before Yeah. Them. So there's that. But regardless... I mean, so the best thing is that Turner and Jordan pride themselves on zeros. They do not add stuff. There's no sugar. There's no coloring. There's no nothing in this. This is true, honest, distilled. And that was one of the things that was really cool to me. That's why it's so light. So, yes, it's light. And obviously, we like things a little darker because, you know, we so do. But you hear Jamaican and you want to hear, is it funky? Is there a lot of esters in it? No. So they have not, it's actually really, really expensive to test esters in rum. Um, you have a lot of different scientists and people that have to go into actually testing it all out, processing, blah, blah, blah. So it's something that they haven't done yet, but they do know that it's around 200 or less. So even though it's a Jamaican, and usually Jamaicans are pretty high up there on the ester, that's where that funk comes from. That's still this fairly is high up there compared to most rums. Yeah. Jamaican is just high in general, just because how they distill. This is undisclosed of who distilled this. Um, what Do you know anything about the pot that it was? So these are, they're column distilled. They use column distills. Um, there's one I think that he said was a pot still. Yeah. I literally have just He knows so pages much about and pages of this it. rum and whiskey and rum in general. And I we, could talk to him all day. I know. So it's one of those things. For one, we already have a rain check for a drink, which we will eventually get to down there when we go back down so to the bring our 90s flop Yeah, and crack that open with him because we both are really eager to just kind of 
talk rum and whiskey with um, Turner and maybe Jordan too, because I mean, that would be fun. It'd be fun because he was on the bourbon show and yeah. he's got a sailor's mouth. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and him will get along great. Yeah. <laughs> so all around, I think that whatever Jordan and Turner are doing behind the doors, man, they're doing it well. And I'm telling you, this is only distributed in five states. I know for sure it's Mississippi, Kentucky, Tennessee, and um, Illinois. Illinois. Chicago area. I don't know. I bet you it would be in Indiana too. Probably. I have a feeling, just because it's kind of close to Kentucky. Yeah. So I'm not 110% sure. I did talk to Turner and ideally him and Jordan were looking to grow by five states this year. But with COVID, that kind of put a damper on things for them. So, mm, it is what it is and he's you know he's very positive and he's very very outgoing and bubbly and just kind of fun to just talk to and he knows so much it's just I think boundless their brand will forever be my favorite because this rum is by far not even the best rum i've ever had probably oh, the best spirit he said that as you can see which one we've been drinking more of. yeah well this one's good but um i forget I go to crack something open and I grab, you know, I, I just grab something so and I forget about it you sometimes. You can also buy their rums on sealbach.com. Yep. Um, they ship to most states, even Michigan. Michigan's really strict on that and they ship here, which they surprises did ship here. me. So that was really so cool. So go find their stuff. And they are um, starting their single barrel program as well. So Turner was really excited about that too, that they're going to start doing that we to try to and get some more stuff. So we can pick our own barrel. I know. <laughs> we're getting there. We're working on it. But again, I know that it's a little hard to find if you guys are rum fans by any means or you frequent seal box or anything and you are a bourbon drinker. If you're a bourbon drinker, get that one. pick this buddy up Cocktail, because I promise you, you will enjoy it. And if you are just a rum drinker or looking for a good rum, they grab also that one have proof. single barrels on seal box too. Yeah. Yep, they have so, single barrel picks. Do us a favor, go like them on Instagram and Facebook. They post some amazing pictures. Yes, and cocktails, and cocktails and... with the recipes. Um, I don't know if you guys are into it and stuff. Turner did send us a sample pack and it was absolutely amazing. It had kind posters like and recipes blind, and but yeah. It's kind of their tasting virtual tasting kit, maybe. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. I think that's online on their website. You can get it on there um or inquire about it, but that was really cool too if you want to try it before you buy I'll it. I'll be keeping an eye out, see if they do merch and maybe glasses. I'll buy from yeah. them and support them as much as I can. Absolutely. So if you guys want honest goodness, I'm telling you. I just burped up there. pineapple. Hey, I ain't mad about it. Yeah. Anything else? No. I mean, I a could go video, on, but I won't. <laughs> I'm passionate about Rolling Fork, John. Uh, me too. But there you guys have it, Rolling Fork. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.